Hello. So if you read the blog post, um, you've read, learned about um, flashbulb memories and how these are where we experience a huge historical event. Um, a lot of them, the articles that I mentioned in the blog post are, they usually focus on the negative things and the really traumatic things that have happened, such as 9-11 or JFK or MLK being shot. Um, so, you know, these can also, I think, be applied to positive historical events, such as today um, and the inauguration. And so it, it's just take a moment and the creative writing exercise that we'll do will focus on today. And you can first have a nice, you know, take a nice seat, be comfortable. Um, a lot of times with writing, we tend to get our brain and um, the anxiety or um, just the muddled thoughts come. So it's cool to like calm down and you can close your eyes, you can take nice deep breaths, you can just sit and just reflect for a moment. And then just thinking of your full day and uh, especially, you know, the moments of uh, the actual inauguration time, writing about the who, what, why, when, and where, and who was with you, what were you doing, um, all the logistical things, but then also writing about your feelings and more of the emotional and reflective. Um, it's basically the subjective and the objective kind of things that were going on. And after you've written for about five minutes, five minutes is just a good reference point. You can, of course, write longer. You then read what you wrote. And if you wanted to um, create another, do another writing exercise where you actually condense all of what you wrote because what you might notice when you free write is it sometimes gets rambly or you go off topic um, so if you wanted to get that more concise you could do another free writing exercise or uh, exercise where you actually make it more concise now I do always tend to recommend writing and on paper but of course you can use your computer you can use your phone um, I don't think there needs to be rules <laughs> to this kind of thing. It's just getting it down. Also, digital memories are amazing. So even looking through um, any photos you took today, um, that kind of thing, creating what is called maybe a digital or image journal of today. Um, but yeah, I just encourage you to keep a journal during this time if you tend to not. I have some friends that have a wonderful memory but um, I know for a lot of us, um, especially with all the information we take in, sometimes we, we might forget things that we think we would never ever forget. Um, so thank you and uh, stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye.